Stop! Can't stop.
J. Jefferson. Disable security cameras in the mainframe core. Task denied. What? <laughs>
successful. Visitor, it is required that you leave immediately. Failure to comply will result in extermination. There's no time for conversation. that voice it doesn't sound good task zero 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 unknown user priority one transfer sodas operating system to unit xb-55 task complete please verify This appears to be a manual console for the transmitter. I need a moment to figure out the controls. The two of you are to find the power supply and install the ultrasite battery cell that Scribe Valdez sent us with. Take your time. I'll need to wrestle with this device for a while. I don't know how Scribe Valdez does it. This way, Initiate. I believe the power supply should be in this area.
Let's get this done quickly. Leaving Romani to fiddle with the transmitter as she pleases doesn't sit well with me. It's against everything I know and trust to disrespect my superiors. But it would be irresponsible to hold back my reservations any longer. Paladin Romani's actions are unbecoming of her station. She carelessly shares resources, takes unnecessary risks, and doles out her trust to anyone who takes an interest in joining us, regardless of merit. The brotherhood she's building is not the one I believe in. It doesn't matter where her heart is. There are no buts in a life or death situation, Initiate. Paladin Romani is responsible for the lives of dozens of Initiates and countless civilians. One wrong choice for them, and that's it. I won't argue about this, but I will order you to get back to the transmitter while I finish up here. Think about what I said, Initiate, and think about what the Brotherhood stands for. Did Night Shin get held up? Well, perhaps it's for the best. This gives me the opportunity to ask you something. You've been a tremendous asset to the Brotherhood's efforts, and I'd like you to continue to be one. But we can't do that with the shadows of the Elders looming over our shoulders. They're cowards. Too obsessed with preventing disaster to pave a new way forward. Under their guidance, we will never rebuild the world. We'll stay rooted in place, guarding a horde of technology that can be used for neither good nor evil. Here in Appalachia, we have an opportunity to make a real difference, to help the people of today build their own future. So let's cut free and take that opportunity. Tell me, Initiate, are you with me? saying that this message must not be sent. I believe in the Brotherhood of Steel. So much that I would rewrite its customs to lead it on the right path. Re-establishing contact with the Elders will only shackle us. Possibly even destroy us. So we must disable this transmitter. Permanently. This is a choice that can never be undone. So tell me. Do you support the growth and outreach of the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel under the command of Paladin Leila Romani? Or are you beholden to the fearful and outdated mandates of the Elders, to whom our very own Knight Daniel Shin vows his loyalty? Something happened during our journey to Appalachia. A mistake that cost the lives of an entire town and likely countless more. If Night Shin gets an opportunity to speak with the elders, he will confess to this incident and to us breaking their direct orders. We'll have our titles stripped, our influence rendered illegitimate. Everything we worked for here will be gone. But if circumstances prevent us from establishing contact, we will continue on as a sanctioned offshoot of the Brotherhood of Steel. We will be able to spread its authority and goodwill across the nation. <laughs> Is that not something worth fighting for? You must recall the Brotherhood weaponry we tasked you with retrieving these last few missions. 
We had claimed the entire cash from a military facility in the Midwest. It was meant to stay under Brotherhood protection. Until we came across a town under threat of a massacre by some raiders. We equipped the townspeople with the weapons and fought by their sides. It was the only way to give them a chance. But it wasn't enough. The raiders won. They took possession of the weapons, and they've been running wild ever since. It is my belief that we must learn from our mistakes. But Night Shin hangs on to them. He cannot move forward until he confronts the past, until he lays our guilt on display for the elders. I say that we can, that we must move forward on our own. There's a thin line between order and blind obedience. At one time, I may have trusted Shin to stay on the right side. He's always been strict, dedicated, disciplined. But following these events, he became guarded. He doesn't let up for even a second. If he continues on this way, I worry he will lose sight of why he joined the Brotherhood in the first place. Yes, I am responsible for the final outcome of all operations performed by this group, regardless of individual choices made. What happened is an irreparable tragedy. I carry the weight of the lives that were lost with every step I take. But I cannot allow it to stop me. This is not about me, Initiate. This is about the people we can help. It's about the promise of a better future, one we can only deliver with our own untethered hands. You weren't there, Initiate. It was... harrowing. Those civilians trusted us to save them. We... Lost one of our own as well, Knight Connors. May he rest in peace. We disobeyed orders, handing out those weapons instead of safeguarding them. Uh, perhaps it would have been forgivable had we succeeded, but the elders would take this failure as proof of the danger of unrestrained technology. They would double down on the fearful conservatism I've tried so hard to steer them away from. We cannot let that happen. At this stage, the Brotherhood still has a chance to be something better. Consider what's right, not just for the Brotherhood, but for the people we must protect. I'm sad to hear you say that. But if that is your stance, then so be it. I cannot allow the misguided beliefs of one initiate to determine the future of Appalachia. This is the only way forward. Brotherhood. What have you done, Paladin? The elders have no hold on us anymore. Stand with me, Shin. Play a part in forging a better future. I have every intention of forging a better future, but this is not the way. You've broken your oath, Paladin. No, that title no longer belongs to you. With your link removed from the chain, I am the highest ranking officer present. 
All members of the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel now answer to me. And you expect them to follow you? Authority is given to a leader by those who support them. The same initiates who turn away from you in fear. And I've done wrong by them. I never thought I would be in a position to ask for their loyalty. The Brotherhood must stand united. You've severed everything we rely on. I have not turned my back on the Brotherhood, Shin. On the contrary, I will work harder than ever before to lead us forward. It's an emergency alert from Fort Atlas. An alert? There could very well be an attack. We need to get back to the Initiates. I don't take orders from you anymore. Neither do the Initiates. We cannot have them confused on who to follow. Don't you see that protecting them is more important right now? You and I will both return to the fort and deal with the alert. We can settle our dispute later. As you say. But as far as I'm concerned, this is already settled. This way, Initiate. Despite the circumstances, the Brotherhood needs us. Thank <laughs> you.